Hey guys, I'm Mr. Chisel here today, and if you notice, uh, it's not my typical world that I'm in, but uh, today I've been getting actually a few um, interests in getting some stuff built that I normally build in my world. So today what I'm going to build is the little barn slash stable, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I've already kind of marked out everything that you're going to, you know, where everything's going to be. But uh, for the most part, you're going to be able to do this entire build with everything that I have down my hotbar here, which is going to be spruce wood, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, fence posts, wood planks, wood slabs, wood oak wood stairs, and fence gates. Okay, so to get started, um, basically what's going to happen is, say if you want to start back here um, in the back corner, or, you know, whether you want to start over there. It's, it's pretty much a, you know, simple layout. So we start here, you're going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, you're going to place an, a um, spruce log. I'm sorry, I'm just having a hard time talking. And then again, you're going to count over, and on the seventh block, place a spruce block. Again, count over, and on the seventh block, you're going to place another spruce block. And one more time, seven blocks, place another. Now on this side here, you're going to count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and on the 10th block, you're going to place a spruce log as well. And the same as on the back side, count over 7, and then place a spruce block. If this cap will get out of my way, thank you sir. And then count over 7 more, and on the 7th block, place a spruce log, 7 more, spruce log, and then one more time, spruce log. Okay, and then from here, this is going to be like a little uh, awning covering on the outside. Um, you're going to count out, let's see, one, two, three, and on the fourth block, you're going to place a spruce log. And I'm going to go ahead and actually run over here and go to sleep real quick, guys, uh, just to where it's not dark for you, to where you can kind of really be able to see everything that's going on. And now that we're back, okay, so once again, we're going to kind of carry over the same pattern here. You're going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the 7th block, place a spruce log, same again on the 7th block, spruce log, one more time, spruce log, and then one last time, we'll count over on the 7th block, spruce log, okay? From here, what you're going to do is you're going to count up and make it 3 log size, so just keep carrying on around on each and every one of these logs. Same move up and carry on over here and on every one we place down to begin with we're going to carry it up to three high so let me run over here and just finish taking these on up and one more and I believe that's it yes so we're good okay guys so uh, if you're getting a little lost or anything and you need to recount go ahead and pause the video here and you know, continue whenever you're ready. So from this point, this is going to be the main part of the barn over here. So we're actually going to carry this up one more block high, and then you're going to carry along with the logs all the way across, and then all the way down to the end. And if we get down there, there we go. And then once again, you're going to carry from here on back to the front. All the way back down to the front. Now you want to leave these at three high. Do not take them up to four high. Leave this particular log at three high. And uh, let me see if I can get back over here. Oh, put it on the wrong spot. Let's see. And keep going down until we meet back up at the other side. There we go. And then in between here, on each of these little runs here, we're going to do the same thing. Start off right here on the top and just carry it over. And then come over to this one. And then pull it on down. And the same way here. Start, oh, and we don't want them sideways. And carry it on down. Okay, so this is going to be the main part here. Um, and then from this point, we're going to start carrying on trying to fill in our walls. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and start off here in this back wall here. Uh, what you're going to need here is going to need the stone brick stairs. And what you're going to do is you're going to start one upside down here and then one right side up one right side up one down okay and then in between here um, you're actually going to have 
two stone brick blocks. And then up, then right side up and upside down. Upside down, right side up. Okay, so that's kind of what it should look like. And then we're gonna do this all the way down. So I'll go ahead and you know tell you how to do it once more on this one. So you're gonna start off with an upside down stair, and then on the top you're gonna to have a right side up stair. And then turn to this side, right side up, upside down. Okay, and then the two blocks in the middle is just gonna be two solid stone brick blocks. And then come back over with your stairs and right side up and upside down. Upside down and right side up. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and see if we can get these last two done and then we'll get started on the little side walls. Um, I kind of showed you twice on how to do it, so hopefully you should be able to get it done. It's the same pattern all the way. Um, so, you know, it's going to be just upside down and right side up. Just like the two before. And there we go. So guys, this is my first tutorial, so hopefully it's not too hard for you to follow. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'm trying it out. It's a little bit harder than what most people think just to do a tutorial because, you know, you want to make sure that everybody really understands. So, um, you know, if I'm going too fast, going too slow, anything, just leave me a comment down below and, uh, you know, I can see if I can't fix it for the next time. Okay, but so now that we got all those up, now we can take our um, fence post and go ahead and run down the line here. And there we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work on these little inner walls. These are a little bit different, so uh, you know I'll start off kind of slow on these until we get to the end. So it's going to start off basically the same way. You're going to have an upside down stair, a right side up stair. Okay. Then from there you're going to do a stone brick slab on each one, and then the same thing on this side, upside down, right side up, and then stone slab, stone stone brick slab. Okay. Now this middle part is three wide, so I'm going to, going to go ahead and just put these down for now. Um, we're not actually going to carry it like that. Um, basically, I'm just kind of put them in there to where I can get these stairs in. Let's see, the same here and the same here. Now you can do this, you know, a couple different ways. Um, kind of the way I like the best is to go ahead and knock those out, and then we'll put in these stone brick slabs in between right here, like so. So basically where the three was, you're going to knock the two outer um, full blocks off and then just replace them with the you know, stone brick slab you know, at the bottom on the top and then at the top on the bottom. I know that sounds a little confusing, uh, but you know, hopefully you kind of catch it by watching. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your fences and go ahead and run down along the side and there you go. So let's do this one more time. So like I said before, so we're going to do an upside down stairs and a right side up. And then stone brick slab, stone brick slab. Okay? And then once again on this side, upside down, right side up, and then stone brick slab, stone brick slab. Okay? And then, like I said, in the middle, you're gonna do three full blocks, and then you get your stairs, and up, right side up, and upside down, and then upside down, and right side up. Okay? So now we're back to looking at these three blocks, you're gonna knock out this outer block this outer block, this outer block, and this outer block here. And we're going to place them with a stone brick slab just like so. Okay, so then just like I said, once again, just fill them in with fences. And there you go. And then let's see if we can't get onto another one. So upside down, right side up, slab, slab. Over here, upside down, right side up, and slab, slab. Okay. And then we got our three blocks, three blocks, right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down. Okay, so we knock out our blocks again and replace them with the slabs. And sorry guys if I am going a little bit too fast, but you can always pause the video or rewind um, if I maybe you went a little bit too fast for you. I know. You know, like I said, this is my first time, so um, I'm kind of just used to building on my own. Not really showing exactly how to build everything that I build. Um, hopefully, you know, I am moving slow enough that you can actually see. I'm trying to somewhat go slow. Let's see, so there we go. 
and then our full blocks our full blocks again Oop. wrong thing there we go and on this side there we go knock these blocks out throw in the slabs and there you go and also guys if any of y'all watch any of my let's play series I mean you can tell this is very attainable and survival as well I mean it, you may not be able to follow the video so closely um, as in my tutorial like if you you know because creative of course is always faster just because you, just because you have everything um, right there at hand and you know if you need to make a little mistake and you break it out you can break it out real quick and easy um, but you can actually build this building and survival is very easy I mean it's not um, you know really highly um, resource I guess you could say you know unfriendly because you know mostly everything is just cooking cobblestone and changing over stone bricks and then cutting down some trees and there you go so it's actually very easy to obtain all these resources um, so there we go so now we have the back wall and all the inner walls so um, if you're not caught up please pause the video here and then resume again once you're ready um, and then just a second we'll get onto those front ones okay so now for these front um, they are a little bit different just because we're gonna have in some fence gates here and then so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same as before upside down and right side up but these are gonna be a little bit different so for here we're gonna put two bricks two bricks and spin around and upside down upside down right side up and right side up now the difference is here is we're gonna leave these two blocks up here but we're gonna get rid of these so we can put in some fence gates here to where you can actually get into each of the little stalls okay so once you get that done you just put up your extra little fences right here and there you go you have a little stall so we'll do that again um, like I said once before it's going to be right side up and upside down spin around it's going to be upside down and right side up you're going to take your full blocks and put two right in the middle okay then you get your stairs and do upside down upside down right side up right side up and then you're going to break these blocks out here put in your fences your fence gates and there you go but sun is going down so we're going over here and go to sleep real quick uh, just so we can see um, give me just a minute I'll be right back okay so we got two more entrances to go and then we can get started on the roof and everything else so let's go ahead and get this finished up real quick and once again we're going to do the same pattern as always upside down and right side up and once again this side and then two blocks in the middle two blocks in the middle throw your stairs in the opposite way get your fence gates your fences and there you go so one last one let's go ahead and get this done and we'll get moved on so same pattern as what we've been carrying on before and oh there we go break these out fence 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 gate fence gate and there you go Okay guys, so I'll go ahead and pause the video here if you are, you know, sending catch back up and then resume when you're ready. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the, the roof and, you know, this little part up here in my little Let's Play series, I actually use it for extra storage for, you know, like those, you know, millions of blocks of dirt, millions of blocks of cobblestone. Or you know either if you want to build this to start off you can actually use this for housing as well but uh what you're going to do is you're going to get in here and you're going to fill in all of this area right here in between all the logs where you can have a little top room 
if you don't choose to do this, you can actually build this any way you want. This is just kind of the way I build. Um, hopefully, you know, you like it. You know, if you like it, hopefully you build it. And then, then you know, hopefully there'll be more tutorials to come. Maybe you can, you know, get some more ideas. Because uh, especially with the tutorials and stuff, you know, guys, even I watch tutorials just because I like watching what other people build to where you can kind of get ideas and take some of the things that they build and work it into, you know, what you build in your world. So, you know, even if you don't decide to build it or if you decide to change it up, you know, that's fine. You know, it's all about what everybody's preferences are. So, you know, take what you've learned from this if you do decide to watch it and do like it and, uh, you know, maybe add it into some of your builds. So let's see, and we'll get this last one done. And there we go. Okay. So now for this proof, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started actually over here on the little canopy area first because it kind of will help in tying in everything else. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our slabs. And you're gonna put it right here on the top of the block on the outside here. Okay? And I like to have little overhangs on everything, so you know, go ahead and put one over here to overhang everything and then start working your way down. You're gonna carry this all the way down to the other side. And oh my god, I'm getting so thirsty here. Um, then once you get that done, what you can do is you come back on top of the log and start working your way back again the other way. Okay, once we get that done, uh, the best way to do this is go ahead and just put down a block uh, to put it up against it, and then because you're going to move it up one more, and uh, if you sit there and do it right here and then try to put it on top, you can't knock that block one out or that bottom one out. You're going to knock the whole thing out. So, you know, make sure you put something down to where you can put it up against it, and then just keep carrying on just the same way we were going. We're going to carry this up until you get to the main part of the build. And then we're actually changing it up from there. So let's see. So now we can actually put two down and then knock the bottom out. And then pull this all the way back down. So pretty much, guys, it's just kind of a step with the slabs. Um, once you get the fourth one done from here, now we're going to change it up a little bit. And we're actually going to take uh, the full planks and we're going to run them all the way down as well. This just kind of carries on our step a little bit until we get to the main part of the build and then it's actually going to change up a little bit. So now you have your little canopy area, you know, to cover to where you can get out of the rain. And then from here, let's go ahead and we're going to build up the two little sides. It makes it a little bit easier whenever you're going to be put on the roof. So um, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to make it kind of like a step up roof. So um, put one log down and then bring it up another one. Pull on the side, knock this one out. The same thing again. One up, one over, and then knock it out. One up, one over, and knock that one out. And then we will do this all the way till we get to the center. Oh, you know, I messed that all up. <laughs> Oops, I put that on the wrong way. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, y'all didn't, uh, didn't do it just like I did. And uh, let's see. I believe... Is that the center? That looks like the center right there. So then we're going to come over to this other side and we're going to do the same thing. So one up and then one over, knock that block out. One up, one over, knock it out. Same thing, all, oh, did I mess up somewhere? Yes, I did. <laughs> There's actually a couple different ways you can actually do it, but uh, you know, as long as you end up with the same thing as I do, you know, I'm not really picky on how you do it. So, so basically that's what, that's what we're going to be looking like, pretty much just a triangle here. And then we'll come over here to the other side and do the same thing. So we're going to do two up, one over, knock it out. One up, one over, knock it out. Same way, all the way till you get to the top in the middle. And I believe that's the middle. Mm, it looks like it. Okay, so then we're going to do the same thing over on this side. Just keep stepping it up until you get to the top. And put that on the wrong. So that's what we're gonna be looking at pretty much guys. So uh you know if you have any questions or you know need to rewind just a little bit just to kind of go back over it, please do it this time and I'll carry on in just a second. 
Okay, so from here, um, now we're going to pull out our stairs and we're just going to make kind of a steepled roof here. So, uh, you know, make sure you get that little overhang and then start there and then you're just going to run it all the way down so you meet up with the other end. Like so. And then once again over here on this side. All the way down. Same thing again, just keep carrying on all the way to the top and then all the way back down the other side. Oops. Let's see, let's get this one all the way down here as well. We're almost to the top guys, we're almost there. And there we go. Okay, and then on this side, what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to start down here on the edge of this log right here. So we have a little bit of overhang, but plus it's going to cover everything up. So it's the same way here, just keep on going with it until we get back up to the top. But, uh, you know, since I'm sitting there just doing this uh, repetitively, it's pretty much the same thing. I think y'all kind of can get the idea of this. Um, you know, I figured now would be a good time. Uh, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but down in the, you know, little video description thing. Um, I have actually started a Facebook page and Twitter page for, you know, those of you that, you know, maybe y'all can't subscribe because, you know, your parents don't let you have a YouTube account or, you know, maybe you do and you just, you know, want to sit there and get a hold of me a different way other than just through uh, YouTube. You can actually hit me up on Facebook. I will accept any friends that want to be on my page um, as well as Twitter. So, you can follow me there on Twitter, and those links will be down in the description down below. So, you know, if you want, you can check those out, and then, you know, maybe we can talk more, you know, later. So, uh, but now that I've got this up to the top, now we're going to just pull out our half slabs again, and we're going to put a little half slab on top to top it off. And we're just going to pull it all the way back down. Okay, and there we go. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our stairs again. And we're just going to go ahead and go in here and put upside down stairs all underneath all of the little overhang here. And then once we get here, we're just going to top it off with a solid plank just to where it kind of all meshes in together. And then we're going to come down here to the other end. We're going to do the same thing. So upside down, upside down, upside down, all the way around on each of those. Now on this solid plank you just want to leave that be let it stay as it is and then like I said once again you're gonna come up here and just fill that in as well okay so now once again we're gonna pull out our stone bricks and we're gonna go ahead and fill this all in the stone bricks all the way up to the top and then from here maybe we'll put in a couple little windows here like so, so it's gonna be the, not the very middle one, but one over from the middle on both sides, one off the bottom, okay? And it's gonna be too tall. So maybe we're throwing some little fence posts for some little window breaks. And then come over here to the other side and we're gonna do the same thing. So just fill it all in with stone bricks. And also guys, if you wanna change up the blocks, you know, you don't have to use the stone bricks. I just kind of like it just because it looks a little neater. Um, I've actually built it with cobblestone blocks, you know, or just whatever you feel like building out of. Maybe if you're doing this in survival, you need something a little easier, maybe just do it out of wood. But then once again, we're going to do the same thing. So not in the middle. We're going to do one over on both sides. Two blocks tall, one block off the bottom. Oh, and it's getting dark again. So let me run over here and go to sleep one more time real quick. And then after that, we should be able to finish this all up from here. Uh, there's not much left. I just want to show you kind of how I did the entrance um, and the back, and then we'll get some lighting up, things like that, and we'll get this done. Okay, so now if you come around to the back side, there is a center post, okay? So what we're going to do right here is we're going to go ahead and knock out the center set of stairs and then both sides, okay? So now what you do is you take your stone bricks and put two high on each side of the center log. Okay, now from here we're going to put a couple
come over and put one right above the top. Okay, so now we're going to come over here and knock out a few more. And we're going to carry on over with the stone bricks and put one on each side. As you can tell, we're kind of doing like a little triangle again. And then break out one more. And we're going to carry these logs all the way up to the top and all the way back down the other side. Just like so. So we now have like another little triangle. This is B where you have a little doorway to get into the top. And then from here, what we're going to do is, oops, we're going to carry on our roof out just like so. Go ahead and knock all these out. And then just carry it on up to the top. Like so. Oh, and this is another thing you gotta fix right here. Um, okay, it won't stay, so what you have to do is put a couple blocks out here. And there we go, now it stays. Okay, so let's go ahead and, well, you know, maybe I did that a little too much. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started on this bottom one first. So put a block out. Take your stair, put it in sideways like that. So there you go. And then once again right here, just keep carrying it on up. The same way. Either which way you go, it doesn't matter. It'll still come out the same. Just like that. And then bring in your little half slabs. And then once again, you're gonna come on up underneath and get your upside down stairs. Run it down both sides, hit your full block, and there you go. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. From here, it's just going to be some little touching up. Um, let's see, so like maybe we'll get some ladders. So we can go ahead and put up some ladders so we can get up top. Maybe pull out a door. And we'll come put it on the inside where we have a little bit of depth. And then once you get inside, you may want to go ahead and run these down because uh, I don't know if you noticed, but you can't put any torches on the back side of stairs. Um, no matter what you do, you can't put them up there. So what you can do is you can come down here, maybe just throw in a few just to kind of help light it up. You know, maybe throw in a few over here. Oh, almost forgot to fill in these windows. And then once again on this side, fill all of this in. Like I said, the main reason for doing this is just so you can uh, be able to put down some torches and things. And then come over to this side, put a few torches down. I don't know, just however you really want to do it. I mean, I just kind of put in some torches in just to kind of light it up. Because you will get monsters spawning up here if you don't. And then from here, the last little touches, you can get some extra light in here by running around, putting up some little, uh, I guess you could say candle holders, whatever you want to call them. Um, the reason I put it on the third block up is to where you can still be able to run underneath fence will see like that and then just keep on carrying this around all the way around um, so you can't put one there but we can actually put a couple right here just for a little extra lighting and then once again just keep carrying around with the fence post the same way and then here under the two windows and then here as well And we're just about okay and then just keep on carrying around you can actually do this underneath the front as well and I like to have things really lit up because I really hate mobs sitting there spawning and especially around any of my structures that I build just because of the fact of you know you spend a lot of time building this stuff you don't want a creeper to come along and blow it up just because you kind of 
didn't pay attention. And then just for a little bit of extra lighting, you can sit there and run them down along here. And then in the pins as well, um, you can't really put them on the stairs, but you can put them on these blocks. That's why I left these blocks in, just to where you have plenty of light in your pins. Make sure they don't spawn in there as well. So you can sit and carry that on along with all the rest of them. So, you know, hopefully, uh, and here goes my phone. Sorry, guys. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. If you have any suggestions or anything else you may want me to build, you know, you can go ahead and leave that down in the comments down below as well. You know, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And until next time, guys.